Pitrupaksha. Usually it is done in India and also in until November and beginning of December, it's also done in many, many cultures across the world. Okay, so it is not exactly Indian thing. And as, as there is a story that uh, Karna story is there. I don't know whether people know about it. That is once he dies and goes, he won't be uh, given place in the Swarga because he is not done you know, he's not worshiping his ancestors. So uh, when he asks, he says that I never knew who is my ancestor. So, <clears throat> so it's not fair that, you know, if I knew, I would have done it. That's what he says. Then the gods uh, say, gods say that, see, basically, uh, Pitrupaksha can be done in the human body. Because when you're out there, there is no Pitru, there is no ancestor out there, you know, being a soul. So uh, he says, okay, give me a chance. Let me go back to the earth and then let me do it for my ancestors. Now that I know where I belong. <laughs> so they send him to a very remote place where no one will come and, uh, uh, you know, uh, because he's, he's no Danshur Karna, right? He's keep on giving everything to everybody. So people always flocked around him. <clears throat> So they sent him to a remote place where he uh, does all of this um, <clears throat> in a very remote place. Now, uh, at that time, he asked, asked the God that uh, there, there could be so many other people also like me who don't know about their ancestors or maybe they, they in their cultures, they might not have done. So there are so many such things. So you should give option for everybody to do it. <clears throat> then uh, the gods say, oh yeah, that's a good idea. We will do it as per, because we like you so much, whatever you say, you know, we will do it kind of a thing. And then these 15 days, Apaksha is always a 15 days, is allowed for anybody in any form can do in their any own way, their own way can think about the <clears throat> ancestors and uh, do puja and make something so that the ancestors feel good. And so that they can ascend to the light is basically the whole idea. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> so uh, people do that. Anybody can do it. It's not that, okay, in my caste, I should do it. Okay, in my culture, I shouldn't do it. There's no such thing as that. Okay. That's about our uh, stories. <clears throat> Having said that, this... I have spoken many, many times, but I think I'll again share very quickly, but with ancestors, keeping in mind about ancestors. So if uh, people know about it, bear with me for some time. People don't know about it, then it's a good thing to think what is your belief? How does this fit in very well for you? Okay, because this fits in very well with all the therapies which I do. So I go by this model. I will share the whiteboard and then I will, this is basically the, the, the journey of souls, but with respect to ancestors, I'm going to explain. So this is the 3D and this is several Ds about it. And it goes up till to 13 D. <clears throat> where we call it as Krishna consciousness, which, which is the creator's consciousness. Okay, but this is 3D. 3D is earth where we have time and space. Rest of the Ds don't have any time and space. There's no concept of time. There's no concept of space. You can be anywhere, anytime. Now, <coughs> people, when we die, what we do is, these are all people, when people die, they deposit their emotions, which is part of the consciousness here. These emotions coming from past experiences, borrowed beliefs, culture, everything. <coughs> they deposit here. So we have 72 hours. In 72 hours, we are supposed to retrospect our life we deposit here. This we call as bardo. This is bardo that is coming from the um, Buddhist uh, philosophy. 
it's like a it's like a door above like a ceiling which is only showing the light and in 72 hours they can see this light so they do the retrospection 72 hours in terms of 3d okay in terms of 3d that is so you see retrospect your life you retrospect past life future life because there is no there is no timeline here everything will come in there retrospection is mainly involving did i do rightly did my uh, uh, decisions are right or uh, did i make any mistake <clears throat> did i hurt others uh, is there any guilt and regrets all of this will be addressed here and you know it will according to me it will be shown like a jalak uh, in the tv they will show you trailer no like that it will be shown and then they are supposed to understand where they went wrong or where they did everything right so it is like cleansing yourself and then when you do that you are kind of it's like when you're very sad you cry and then you are actually fine right so it's like that you do all about it and then you feel better then you move up to any of the d mostly we will end up in 5d or 4d okay 4d or 5d we will end up in each of those you have different levels zero level one level two level so usually level 4 and above is slightly people evolved below are all those who have done maybe terrible things because in their darkness they don't they didn't know what they were doing so such uh, things will be going there now this part there is you can segregate it like half the 4d the below part is what we call as hell and the above part is what we call as heaven because you finish off all your earthly related things here you will meet to see and you will probably feel not so good but only when you finish it you will go up and this part will be beautiful where a lot of people will come and help you support you and take you up but you have to do your work here now if you are able to do those work while being alive it will be very smooth for you and that is the reason every day before you sleep if you retrospect about the day unknowingly you might have hurt somebody or knowingly you would have hurt somebody and sometimes knowing that this is a wrong thing you would have still chosen that act and we would have done all of it if you retrospect the time here after you die will be very easy for you so make your heaven on earth while you are alive which is possible for humans which may not be possible for spirits okay now if people do not retrospect because they have so much to um, linger to this particular earthly um, life okay let's assume they had a desire and suddenly they met with an accident they died and they are not sure that they are dead because they are thinking that they'll be alive for some more time etc so many things are there in such case they cannot retrospect here because their mind is clouded they don't even know that they are dead and they are very strongly trying to connect with others and being here now what happens is many times they will have to take a u turn quickly here itself and be born quickly within 3 months sometimes in the same uh, or, you know family because kind of way they have to continue and they have to finish that life properly they didn't but in case if they choose to retrospect here they don't have to they'll have to go above and then again choose whenever they want and they can come back also so if they do retrospection fully they go up wherever they have to be they have to be there and whenever they want they can come too got it so this part is where we are submitting our experiences and the soul goes here to your higher self this is the higher self everybody has their own higher self and there is the collective consciousness and there is this super consciousness you got it this diagram became little nonsense but then i hope you can understand so when you are joining your higher self you don't know whether you are higher self or your collective consciousness or your the super consciousness 
it is like a small droplet dissolving in the huge ocean there is no boundary there is nothing that is oneness that is why even when we are here in the body we have our higher self because a part of the higher self only has come down as you okay there could be many many other parts which have come down like parallel lives there could be many and now you finished you went back but you when you were here as a human being also you had that connection now if you had that connection to your higher self you had the connection to the collective consciousness that's how you can influence people by your prayers by your thoughts you can invent a huge amazing technology something which would have the huge ma human mankind so that is all about the collective consciousness you can harm the whole society world that is again collective consciousness and you have this super consciousness in you all the time guiding you it's just that we we can easily connect to this and little more diluted is this much more diluted is the super consciousness what is that which is diluting these things the emotional stuff which are stuck in our head so the more you clear that emotional uh, stuck emotional thoughts you make yourself calmer more and more the more you will have clarity about your higher self the higher purpose and the more you will do better for the humanity and the more you will do in touch with the universe so it's all about this this is what is called as being human emotions now since we are depositing here and going up the same way when you are want to be born you are picking it up and coming to you a particular parent because you have to cross that uh, veil okay and you will pick up certain few aspects of it which will help you uh, evolve in your human life if i need to learn to be courageous i pick up something which has already experienced courage if i need to be a leader i will pick up alexander life usually i take alexander as an example he would have submitted here and he would have gone that's there here and i'll take that so that's how the past life comes into picture past life is a by product but you picked up because you wanted to be a leader and this experience will help you okay so all the ants and then you you chose a father and mother the very fact you chose that father and mother because they have something to contribute to you in your life that's why you chose those particular parents because as a consequence of choosing these particular parents you have set of ancestors from the father side set of ancestors from the mother side so like how you have connection with the higher self you have connections to those ancestors too very easily through the dna it's like you already have all the time you bought a ticket for the bus any time you can ride the bus and any time you have connection to that bus driver and the conductor and the people also direct connection okay so now there could be ancestors hung here who are depending on you to help them clear this cloud here or the ancestors could have gone here they would have been born also but their higher self will be here right their higher self will be here now the more and more we clear this cloud the more earth will become very clean and neat and it's possible so since we have direct connection with our ancestors using the dna it is very easy to clear those which they have submitted here and in turn what will happen since i picked up coming to here to my specific parents it's easy for me my life also will become better so these emotions we get it through past life we get it through our ancestors we get from so many things which you have uh, the capacity to clear it now so when you are healing the ancestors you are actually healing yourself you are healing your lineage by using the dna what we have now how do i know what is that i need to clear up 
I don't know about it. Okay, you just heal yourself. You heal your emotions which you have picked up here. You heal all that experience which you have gathered in this uh, earthly life. Indirectly, that will heal them because you are their uh, shadow. You are their reflection which you have gathered here. That is the whole thing about ancestral healing. Healing us through the emotions which we are in and in turn healing them. So that when this clears, there is no reason for them to hang around here. Or when they're coming down again, they will be able to pick up very less of this so that they can make a brand new good life here. And they'll be able to follow their life purpose even better. Otherwise, you spend your life only healing this in this lifetime. Where is the time to go um, achieve your, past, uh, your uh, life purpose? If you're so busy in uh, healing your trauma, right? So that is the reason this is a very good time. It's like a portal open so that you can easily access your ancestors and heal your emotions and indirectly heal their emotions because they're one and the same. And many of them may stop being here and they will go to the 